Well, well, well. It's time for a special edition video. The top 10 YWC cliches. This is the things that you say on my videos and plenty of other people's videos here on the YouTubes. So without further ado, I present to you your top 10 cliches. Number 10. You are a WWE mark. Every time I post a TNA review here, I am called the WWE mark. Like I'm some type of hitman hired by WWE. Say bad things about your impact shows. Those shitty impact shows. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. I'm a WWE mark. But I make WWE videos and I insult all their horrible shows too. So I guess that I must be a mark for one of the companies, even though I think both of them suck. Well, that just makes so much sense. I mean, you guys are logical as hell. You're, you're just like a couple of regular Spocks uh, flying around in your Starship Enterprise. I mean, oh, you guys are certainly out in space, you know. Woo -hoo -ho -ho. You know, uh, but anyway, no, number nine. You're not a real wrestling fan. I'm not a real wrestling fan? Who is a real wrestling fan? I'm not a real wrestling fan? Well, gee, Wilkers, I thought I was. That's why I'd be making all these here videos. I'd be reviewing every single dang show on the sun that has to do with wrestling. You know, but I guess if you're a wrestling fan, a real wrestling fan, you don't make no wrestling videos. Because if you make wrestling videos, you ain't a wrestling fan. I ain't a real wrestling fan, because a real wrestling fan wouldn't do that. He wouldn't talk about something that he likes. Heck no. Number eight, you are gay. I am sorry that I, folks, am a heterosexual man who has indeed had sex with women, which is more than a, a lot of my uh, detractors have out there. They're so busy complaining that uh, they've never even touched a woman. But I have, in fact, touched many. And, well... I am very sorry that you think that I'm gay, but we all know that secretly that you are because you are madly in love with me. That is why you watch my videos even though you hate me. This is just a clever ruse set up by you to watch me and, you know, look at me and look at my pretty blue eyes. You know, I don't blame you. Uh, number seven, too negative. You are too negative in your reviews. You know, you guys are right. On the YouTubes, if you're going to be part of YWC, you need to make positive wrestling reviews. Don't make no negative wrestling reviews, only positive wrestling reviews. You guys and everybody out there saying anything negative about any wrestling, you guys are too negative. If a show sucks, you got to make a positive wrestling review like Sean's View Entertainment. That guy knows how to make a real wrestling review because it's all positive. That makes a lot of sense. If the show sucks, make a positive wrestling review. Positive wrestling review for, for every single show. Makes a lot of sense. Your beard sucks. Number six. Well, I think that my beard is actually kind of cool. I trim it regularly, but, you know, I am sorry that my style does not live up to your gay fantasy that you have of me. I understand that you are gay, you know, but, you know, being homosexual isn't widely accepted out here, you know, in the United States. You know, there's a lot of people against so I wouldn't come out here and really criticize my appearance in public. You know, I know you have perverted sexual fantasies of me in your mind, but they should stay there, you know, because I am a heterosexual. I'm not interested in your gay fantasies. But I will not be clean-shaven. I know you have all this fantasy of, uh, you know, me clean-shaven, laying on your couch, you know, Maybe like shackle or something, and I can't get away, but sorry, I, I'm not shaving my beard. Number five, cut your hair. Once again, I like to apologize. I understand that the gay people that you go for, your gay sexual male fantasies, are always with a guy with a crew cut or short hair. You know, I am sorry that, you know, I can't give you that visual image to jack off to. With me with short hair. But I do have some old videos that you can look at. You know, just just going to clue you guys in. There are videos of me with short hair here on the YouTube. So if you need if you need that type of satisfaction, you know where to go. Number four. Fan reactions to the wrestlers. I say that on Raw, Cycle City didn't get much of a reaction at all. 
Someone tells me and goes into a whole fight with me that he heard. Well, gosh darn it, because someone lend me a Q-tip, I ain't hearing things properly. I mean, people are telling me, people are cheering for Ryback when I, all I hear is Goldberg chants or dead silence when they edit it out. I mean, I ain't hearing what you're hearing. I mean, I guess I must have an inner ear problem or something like that because, gosh darn it, I ain't hearing the cheers. I mean, so you guys are telling me you're hearing uh, different crowd reactions for wrestlers that you like. Don't understand. So number three, you are an idiot. Well, I guess I must be an idiot because I have differing uh, opinions than you. I'd like to apologize for this. I guess I must be an idiot. I must lack all the intelligence because I don't think John Cena is great. Or I won't give Rod back the credit that you think he deserves. Really, I, I apologize. I mean, I am an idiot because I don't say positive things about the bad things in wrestling. I should really learn to stop being an idiot and only say positive things about wrestling. Because that would make me smart. If I say positive things about wrestling, I'll be smart. Number two, this wrestler rules, you suck. If I say John Cena sucks, or I say Ryback sucks, or I say this match sucks, they say no. That didn't suck. You do. First of all, let me congratulate you on such an expertly done comeback. I couldn't have thought of one better myself. I mean, gosh darn it, you are like the Lisa Lampanelli of YouTube. You roasted my ass with your clever and intelligent, well put together insult. How could I possibly come back from that one? Number one, I know you're excited for this. The number one thing people say to me about wrestling here on the YouTubes, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Why would I stop watching wrestling when I've been watching it since I'm three years old, you stupid motherfucker? I want it to get better. That is the point of why I say all these things in these wrestling videos. I have a higher standard for wrestling because I watch it when it's good. I know how it was in the 80s. I know how it was in the early 90s. And I know how it was in the late 90s and the early 2000s when it was good. I remember all the good wrestling. So, but I guess I should stop watching it because I don't like the bad wrestling. But sometimes there's a little good good wrestling mixed in like John Cena versus uh, Brock Lesnar or Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk. I give credit where credit's due. But if I don't like all the wrestling, if I don't say all positive things about the wrestling, you guys would say I should stop watching the wrestling. But I'm here to tell you that I will never stop watching the wrestling because I ain't a phony. I know that I am a big wrestling fan. I like going to shows, and uh, I will never stop watching wrestling. I might have taken some minor breaks in between when it started to suck bad, but I can never go away from the wrestling. I like to apologize for not pleasing you. I mean, I don't know what what this this does for you if I stop watching wrestling. I mean, I, I, I guess that uh you get some type of pleasure out of that. But anyway, I'm not. I hope you enjoyed these top 10 cliches that y'all be saying about me. I hope you have a pleasant day, motherfuckers. See you next video.